I'm on my way from Wenatchee in the freezing snow, as you can see. A year ago, I moved back home to Washington in pursuit of a dream to start my own business, a fashion company that challenged the status quo. I called it Cuts. Last September, I launched a Kickstarter campaign that raised $42,000 in one month, shipping 450 products to over 20 countries around the world. The journey thus far has had plenty of highs and lows, along with many lessons learned, from not knowing where to start to having so much to do that I can't sleep. But this is only the beginning. As we get ready for the launch of our e-commerce website and the official launch of Cuts, I feel I have to share it with you. I don't want to just tell you about my business. I want to show you. I want you along with me every step of the way. My hope is that by watching me build my business, it will inspire you to do the same while giving you a place to get real life examples to make your journey a little bit easier. Now let's go get it. Our dreams are waiting. You've been working here all night long. Let me see if I can give you better. Even when I'm far and gone, I know you're working for it. You've been working here all night long. Let me see Just got to my boy's house where I'll be staying the next three weeks while I wrap up production. Say what up to Ethan. What's going on, YouTube? Check out these kids. What you know? What you know? So uh, I'm in the. Uh, the buttons, place where we pick out the buttons for all of production. So these are the uh, stickers that go on, that we put on uh, the back of these hang tags. You can see here. These are like a matte black finish. Um, and these are like really high quality vinyl, so it'll be like flesh. Be, these will be on the back of that. Look at this door. It's kind of like the saw door. What's up, Gabby? How are you? Good. This is the fabric that we had to put in. We got fabric in here. We got four rolls back there. And then we got another four rolls back here. So I am uh, where the fabric gets cut. Kind of a scary looking place, but check it out. Look at this, some carpet getting cut, some other things and uh, look at that, kind of a crazy looking spot. So my fabric is right here. We got optic white, all getting ready to get cut. Look at all this fabric. Look at this. So, do I need a sign for something that the goods came in? Mm, well, you usually need to bring your paper so we can sign for receiving it. But if you want me, I can do something so you can take it. But sure. Oh, you know what? I do have the paperwork. You have? <laughs> yeah. I didn't bring the paperwork. And I do have the paperwork. I'm better than that. I'm better than that. So this is the paperwork. This is what is coming in. Uh, does this make sense? Is it? Yes. Yeah. See the the rolls. So do I just leave this with you guys? Yes, you want a couple? Yes. Oh, just I, I just I'm vlogging. It. Say hi. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> We're at, uh, just recording the whole journey of starting a business and all that. Oh, so, okay. Uh, this is red point where our fabric gets cut. Yes. Yep. Yep. I'll shut it off. So we're in coffee mat. Finally figuring out this uh, label issue. We're almost there and it didn't print. <laughs> Devastating. Devastating. Third time's a charm? Yes. 
Yeah, hopefully. This is what we're trying to print. The barcodes that go on the UPC bags. But that's the thing. That's why when you're putting the model, what the model's wearing on your site, in my mind, that's like the best. That's the biggest thing as far as just simply buying something online. Yeah. Um, because, you know, you're stuck with, like, you know, the things you deal with online, obviously. You can't feel the stuff. You can't see the fit. But the best you can do is look at a model who might look something like you. And that's why you've yeah. done, like, model variations, too. Because, you know, within a large, you're either barrel chested or you're skinny and you're tall. Yeah. Or you wear it loose or you wear it tight. So if you just say, hey, the model's like this, this height, this weight, wearing it large, the guy can look and go, oh. Something cool happened. I uh, got to see the units for the first time. And, you know, throughout this process, we probably made 200 pattern adjustments. And a pattern adjustment is, you know, fixing the collar, fixing the thread color, uh, fixing the length of the shirt, fixing the shoulders. I mean, there's millions of different ways you can build a shirt. And uh, throughout that process, it's been kind of grueling. But when I got to see it for the first time, and everything was done the way we wanted to, and it was super clean. I just I had to come out here because I was just floating. I was super pumped. I would, uh, I was beyond fired up. So uh, let's go check it out. Yeah, people come. Yeah, people go. I just sit back and collect gold. I'd rather do it all on my own. No one else could feel in my role. Time is moving. I cannot stay. Lost people with the smile on display. Fuck this window. I'm standing there I'm doing more than all these mannequins I've seen a lot of things Changing my perspective I've seen a lot of things I never expected People drinking liquor Trying to fill their emptiness Spending all their money On some people faking friendliness Money isn't happiness With nobody to spend it with And people acting real But really they just gonna be blending in I keep my circle small I know who rocking with me Cause some people say they got you But they changing up too quickly When they go down They gone now Don't pick you up when you fall now But they hit you up when you on now When they want it all Trying to ball out I know how that shit go